coming through. <laughs> Good afternoon. Wheelers at large. We're out again. It's a Sunday afternoon. We've got England playing tonight. <laughs> Fingers crossed, but we'll see. Okay, let's go. <sighs> New cycle room. Been a long time coming, this one. No, he's coming through. No, he's not coming through. I was ready for a close pass there. Moved out a little bit. Make sure I have plenty of escape room. One of our bikes is humming and the other one is gliding along smoothly which brings me to the tough road this was supposed to be my road bike obviously it's doubling up as gravel bike at the moment too but uh, anyway a little update on the tough road shortly That's it. <laughs> so, why'd you buy a girl who has a green and a purple bike for her birthday? You buy her purple bits and green bits. So, new bar tape and crimp pens in green for the Merida, and the same again in purple for the Liv. That gets me off the hook for another year. Hopefully, she'll wear them out. I'll do the same again next year. Not that I'm lazy or anything, but you know. When you know what makes somebody happy, doesn't mean you have to stop doing it. <laughs> Usually we've got wind behind here, but not today. <laughs> We're into the wind today. The best thing is I was able to get up, get all fitted and changed before she woke up on her birthday morning. So it was still a surprise. <laughs> yeah, no mysterious disappearing into the shed with a bike or anything the day before. So it all worked out really well. Clear. Oh, he's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I left him for dead for a change. turn right just up here and get on the trailway to Ringwood but Julie's on her road bike so uh, gonna have to go the long and less scenic route round well, I've just gone through Westmoors we're aiming for three-legged cross Oh, she's gone. Oh well.
Well, that was a push. I think as I got cars behind me, my speed's creeping up. For some reason, they're not overtaking. It's a big wide road. Oh, there we go. One of them plucked up the carriage. <laughs> Why did he bother to wait until it was clear? Oh, he never went over the white line anyway. Very busy. Thing is, there's no alternatives on this road. We just gunned it from uh, three legged cross all the way to the top of Ringwood, and Mike's um, showing me the way. I tucked in behind him and uh, made him work. Well, I would say that Julie's definitely got a PR there. Stayed with me the whole way. Yeah, tucked in nicely. She did well, pushed me the whole way. Yeah, they fixed it all, that's nice. Yeah, it makes a change. We're usually picking our way through that bit, aren't we? I'll go through Ringwood. Quaint little town. Anyway, the tough road. Giant have always done a flat bar version, uh, the SLR, and a drop bar version, the SLR GX. So anyway, mine was a GX. Uh, the frames are slightly different. The SLR is really a touring bike. Well, I guess both of them were. But uh, in the Europe now, in Europe now, you can only get the SLR. Uh, the top of the range one comes with all the racks and everything. But of course, <laughs> the geometry is set for flat bars. No GXs in Europe anymore. And that means that the top tube is effectively 40 mil longer than the bike I had before. So. This causes an issue. <laughs> now you're just a bit late with them, that's all. Here she comes. <laughs> Dog or a small horse? Anyway, <laughs> that was a beast, wasn't it? So I've got to try and lose 40 mil somehow. Now, thankfully, it has got 100 mil stem on it. So I can go down to 80 without any real problem. Uh, there's 20. I can flip the stem over, which will make it high at the front, and it already has quite a big stack height, but that'll probably lose another 10 mil. I'll probably be able to raise the hoods up and just tweak the handlebar position. So I can probably get away with it. But what I didn't want to do was take it away so they think, oh, that's right, it's dealt with, and then find I couldn't ride it. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Flies. Anyway, I thought I'd leave it with them and just give myself time to think about it. Uh, I have to say, it looks amazing. And the guy in the workshop down there has done a fantastic job. 11 out of 10 for sure. That was interesting. Pulled off the road where neither of us were going through and came back on. 
how weird. I know, mean, plenty of room, she didn't have to pull off at all, but funny to do it when neither of us were there. Right, I better catch up with Julie. She's looking back at me like she's tapping her feet. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? I only waxed the chain like, well, last week. We've only ridden it twice since then. Once was in the rain, mind you. Uh, it can happen. I like it. Yeah, green isn't really Judy's colour, but it's actually turned out quite well, that bike. <laughs> I was right by the stinging nettle. <laughs> I didn't get stung though, it didn't touch me. I touched the top of the leaf, not the bottom. Little pony. Uh -huh. Nice little push. Finish with a yeehaw! <laughs> I was a bit late, wasn't I? Not always. Oh dear, you'd think I'd learn. Just for a change. It's not quicker, probably slower, but it's just different. No exit, we're not exiting. Oh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? To give it a proper clean, lube it again. about bikes and stuff today's almost been like a vlog not just a ride video anyway nearly back and no doubt I'll have more to say about the tough road next week Julie's trying to get an average over 16 it is flat all the way back but it is into the wind, so fingers crossed. I'm sure I can do an ending. <laughs> I really am. I got to keep it over 16. If you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching. Click the like button, and we'll see you on our next one. <sighs> Go on, hand tuck in. Okay.
Yeah. <laughs> we almost got home before it rained. Sixteen point one. Yeah, sixteen point one. Ooh, well pleased with that. <laughs>